I have like 10 games and zero nostalgia for the Nintendo Game Boy, but the retro gaming overlords tell me I have to like the green screen cinder block if I want to be a retro gamer. I tried everything I have, didn't take long, and there was nothing essential, so I'll just call out a few games I found in there that are decent, inexpensive, and also exclusive, which I did not originally intend to happen, so I guess that's cool. Game & Watch Gallery is simple and charming, just like me, except that it's also charming. It's more amusing than good, but I genuinely enjoyed the modern versions of these four very basic Game & Watch titles for a few minutes each, and they feel perfectly at home on the Game Boy. 3 out of 5. Back before Konami recklessly slapped licenses onto pachinko machines, it lovingly placed them on platformers like Tiny Toon Adventures, Babs' Big Break. It's unspectacular, slow-ish, and I was not really compelled to play more than a few minutes, but it has a lot of polish overall. 3 out of 5. Last but not least, Mega Man Dr. Wily's Revenge is not great by franchise standards and may be the hardest game I've ever played, but the amount of Mega Man audiovisual and gameplay experience stuffed into this cart is impressive, and I genuinely wanted to keep playing. With cheat codes. Let's go 4 out of 5. And as a bonus, a couple honorable mentions. If you like quickly rage quitting games, Star Wars is an okay, diverse action platformer that, forget what I said about Mega Man, might be the hardest f***ing game I've ever played in my life. But I love hearing this Star Wars music on Game Boy. It's an honorable mention, so I don't feel bad that it's not exclusive, and it's better on the NES. But for this version, 3 out of 5. And finally, Arcade Classic 2 Centipede and Millipede is just very simple ports of Atari's fixed direction shooters. If you like them elsewhere, they're a nice fit here, and there are four other cheapish double packs in this Arcade Classic Game Boy line that are probably worthwhile too. 3 out of 5. So there you go. Not much to it. Just like my personal collection. It's hard to imagine playing these via anything other than casual emulation today, but the fact that the main three are still exclusive gives them some ownership appeal. And if you really like Game Boy stuff, then my opinion doesn't matter anyway. And most Game Boy games are fairly inexpensive. So do your thing, and thank you for being here. Hey look, it's a box that has my Game Boy in it, and enough batteries for exactly 30 minutes of play. I'll just pick that up here. Oh, oh my friend. Oh, call an ambulance.